a one of a kind laboratory founded by emeritus professor Carlos Baptista is having a profound effect at the University of Toledo. The Plastination Lab preserves specimens of common disorders and rare conditions so future physicians like the school's medical students can study organs affected by cancer, Alzheimer's and other abnormalities. We have some specimens that are rare. They are very difficult to, to, to dissect and difficult to, to find. And then the students can come here and learn, not only medical students, but PAs and then physical therapy, any student that is interested to come here and visit this museum. My name is Carlos Baptista. I am Emeritus Professor, Department of Medical Education, College of Medicine, University of Toledo. Plastination is a process of preservation that uh, what you do, you remove water and fat from the tissues and replace with the polymer. And the polymer can be silicone, epoxy, or polyester. For example, if you have a specimen that uh, you want to preserve, Constantly and the easier to do is for you to do with the formaldehyde, but formaldehyde is toxic. And then uh, with the plastination, you can replace the formaldehyde and then you can have a specimen that is dry, odorless, and uh, is not harmful to the students and to the faculty. I was a graduate student in Brazil when uh, Dr. Von Hagens, that is the father of plastination, came with an article about the new kind of uh, preservation of tissues. So in my class, I was the, one, the only one that decided to use, uh, to go for basic science instead of a practicing clinician, even though I practiced in Brazil for many, many years. The oldest one is the first one specimen that I prepared in Brazil in 1985-86. That is a heart. It was prepared to show the cardiac valves and show the structures inside the heart. And the most recent one is the full body that uh, we uh, just put in a museum and it took six years for this uh, full body to be uh, complete. I prepare specimens for many, many institutions. We have from California to New York, from uh, Michigan to Florida. All the specimens that you see here, they are donations from individuals that donate for science, donate for education. I have been a teacher for 30 years, okay? And then I enjoy very much the contact with the students and then uh, this uh, was the highlight of my day. The other uh, the highlight of my day is when I go to the Plus Nation Lab and then I work in my specimens. Because it's not only science, but it's art. And then it gives you a chance for you to explore that side of you, not the scientist, but also the artist. I never imagined that one day we do have the International Conference on Plastination here in Toledo. So when I organized this Plastination Conference, I decided to invite Dr. Von Hagens, the father of Plastination, to come to Toledo. And then a colleague of mine said to me, oh, forget it, because he will, he's so busy that he will never do it. But he came. He came to Toledo and he spent here a week with us that was for me one of the most fascinating times that we had. I became president of the International Society for Plastination for eight years. And then, uh, so I devoted my life to, to this. And then it's always nice when you look back and see that uh, it was a good thing that you did. I, Dr. Carlos Baptista, and this is my story.